Hello, parasites and true believers. Welcome back to the Venom Vlog, a show that for the past four and a half years has explored the 30 plus year history of Venom, the lethal protector. And on special occasions, this show also explored characters that interact with our favorite anti-hero. Since season one, some of the characters we've explored have been Spider-Man and his clones Ben Riley and Kane Parker, both who have carried the mantle of the Scarlet Spider. In the previous episodes where we focused on the history of these two clones, we covered every event from their birth in the original clone saga up to Ben's tragic death and Kane's rise to superhero status. But much has transpired since Kane became the Scarlet Spider and helped Agent Venom take down Carnage. After Kane lobotomized Cletus Cassidy and handed Carnage over to Agent Venom and the authorities, the newly dubbed Scarlet Spider returned to Texas. Once there, he continued his mission of protecting Aracely, a young girl that he rescued from human traffickers who want to use her powers for nefarious purposes. With the help of Dr. Donald Mayland, his partner Officer Wally Layton, and a bartender from the Four Seasons Hotel named Annabelle Adams, Kane learns that the Roxxon Corporation is involved with the human traffickers who are after Aracely. Those traffickers turn out to be werewolves who kill Kane and trap Aracely. That is, until Kane is resurrected by the Other, a spider beast within him that once inhabited Peter Parker. Kane uses the Other to become a beast and defeat the werewolves, but he loses control, forcing Aracely to use her powers to calm him down and return him to his human form. After Aracely is safe, Kane's past returns to haunt him in the form of the Assassin's Guild, who Kane worked for many years ago. Kane pays his debt to the Guild by defeating Wolverine, but then teams up with Logan and the X-Men to defeat the Guild. Kane continues to avoid rest by then teaming up with the superior Spider-Man to fight the Jackal, only to soon after have his scars return and come face to face with Ben Riley, the original Scarlet Spider. Or so Kane believed. Kraven the Hunter wanted revenge for the battle he once had with Kane in the far past and also for Kane ruining Craven's resurrection. The two fight to the death, but Kane lets Craven live with the knowledge that Craven is not the world's deadliest hunter anymore. Kane says goodbye to Annabelle, Donald, and Wally, taking a race lead to Mexico to help her learn more about her past and develop her powers further. And all was right in the world, for about three seconds. Kane and Aracely soon get caught up with the new warriors and join them after being kidnapped by the High Evolutionary, who believes the Celestials are coming to judge the planet. The Celestials never show, at least on this day, but Kane, Aracely, and the New Warriors defeat the High Evolutionary anyway. In the aftermath of their victory, Kane is called upon to help the spider people of the multiverse to battle a family of villains called the Inheritors, who are jumping to different worlds and eating the spider people of those dimensions in the event book known as Spider-Verse. Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, Ben Parker, Spider-Woman, Silk, Hobie Brown, Spider-Punk, and so many Spider-People come together with a plan to defeat the Inheritors and save the multiverse. Teams of Spider-People were formed, each with a task that would help bring down their enemies. Kane was assigned to team up with a Ben Riley Scarlet Spider from an alternate universe. This Ben, like the one Kane knew and hated for many years, was a natural-born hero. He was exactly as Kane remembered the Ben he once knew. This made it hard for Kane as Ben stayed behind to sacrifice his life and destroy the cloning facility that helped the Inheritors resurrect themselves if they died in battle. But that great victory is short-lived when Kane is captured by the Inheritors since he is the new host of the other. The Inheritors then kill Kane. But before the Inheritors can kill anyone else, Spider-Man and his amazing spider friends enact the final stages of their plan, defeating the Inheritors by trapping them on an alternate Earth with no food or chance of getting back, thus saving the multiverse. Many spider people died including an alternate universe Ben Riley and the main Marvel Universe Kane, two clones of Peter Parker, both known as the Scarlet Spider. But death in comics is never permanent, as so many of us know. In the next installment, coming soon to a Venom vlog near you, we will discuss the return of Kane Parker and the one, the only, the original, Ben Riley. Thank you all for watching the show. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up and leave your comment down below of what you thought of this part of the history of Ben Riley and the Scarlet Spider legacy. We will cover more of the history of Kane Parker and Ben Riley in future videos, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on future installments. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.